Okay, for this one, we are plotting the vanishing points in eye level for um, a two-point perspective exterior view. So I've got um, some photographs of some buildings, and remember with two-point perspective, the subject is at an angle to us. It's turned at an angle. We're not facing any part of it straight on, but we're turned at an angle. So the part that's closest to us is an edge, a leading edge um, that uh, is closest, and then everything goes back away to vanishing points from there. So if we align our straight edge with some of those key angles, uh, we can then um, trace those. And here the red, I don't know if you can see it very well. Um, it'll maybe show up on some of the other ones, but we just trace through that. And where they intersect, that should be one of our vanishing points. We'll double, we've got two that intersect right here. We can double check that with this edge here and this top edge of um, this little carport uh, patio thing. Yep, that seems to check out pretty closely. And then um, let's go with, as we project out, we've got this edge here and this edge here of the uh, patio. That goes over, that lines up, and this lines up. I think when you're starting out with one point or with linear perspective, you don't quite believe that it actually works. Um, so having being able to trace these lines and see that, yeah, they do really align over here. Now let's go this away. And with two-point perspective, it's most likely, oh, we're probably getting pretty close to the eye level here. It's most likely that these, um, your vanishing points are going to be way off the edges of the, of the picture plane. Here, I should have extended that out a little bit more. Um, so you, this is, we're seeing that here on this side. These aren't um, connecting until off the paper. And so you can even add another sheet of paper to both sides even. So that we can, um, if you need to, you can uh, have it go to both sides, but let's just continue, you know, running that across. And so then we see that these intersect way out here. But look and see how all these, even the cast shadows off there, all of those line up and would go to the vanishing point over here. So let's run our eye level then. If we take a horizontal that runs through those vanishing points, and you can see that those line up right along that horizontal. Usually it does that. If the person that's you know taking the, the photograph, if they're turned a little bit, or if they're um, maybe standing on a, on a surface that's not straight, that can uh, get messed up a little bit. But you can see you've got your vanishing points here and here for this one. Oh, let's... Sorry if you can't see it very well there. So that can give me a great place to start when I'm drawing my image. I can know that I can put this vanishing point, I could put that on the paper, but then this vanishing point is gonna be off uh, the paper a little bit farther. Let's try it again here with um, uh, this maybe recognizable building right here. So let's start with the side. Let's um, take these kind of extreme angles here. And that's a little bit too wide. Take these kind of extreme angles but, and see where they line up over here. Oops, sorry, my bad. I did not line that up properly. Here we go. That's more like it. So we've got right there on this side and all of those 
windows would all go there. Um, and then the base of the building would likely uh, line up as well again, unless it's on a hill or if the landscape um, angles up or something. But all of those uh, columns, the bottoms of them would all line up. And then let's go over to this side with some of these strong angles coming this way. This way and over like this. That's giving us a pretty good indication. Let's try this one up here. Yep. So that takes us down to that one. And again, all of these, so all these lines going this way would come over here to this. But see all these lines here? They would go to this other vanishing point. So again, this is a great way, let's just do another one of these, just so you believe me. This is a great way to figure out, you know, which way everything's going. Um, let's go ahead and get our vanishing, or our eye level in. And again, hopefully it's about, it looks like maybe this is uh, the viewer, it's at just a little bit of an angle. Just to make things simpler, I'm just gonna, well, if I connect these, I can just connect these for this little study here. But then in my drawing, I would probably straighten those out. Um, and it maybe can come down just a little bit. So I've got my ILO. Let's try this last one. But see how the, you know, one of these is outside of the picture plane. That's a very common thing, and usually they're they're way off. We might be getting that with this one here. Let's give it a try. Yeah, if we go on this roof line here, that's coming way off this way. We come down to that second angle. It's still way off. But if we start lining up these windows down here, now that's getting a little bit closer. So that's a little bit closer to where um, maybe our eye level is, but at least that's what I'm thinking, but look at the angle of these over here. So the eye level is low. So we know from that then that this surface slopes down and whoever's taking the, the picture is standing below way below the eye level. Oh, we might be onto something right there. Let's try these, yep. And the bottom of these entrances right here. Yeah, so we've got maybe one indication. We could say that our eye level We could presume that it starts over here, somewhere in there. And then it comes across and would continue way out that way, right? So that's our eye level. Now, when you first looked at that image, would you have thought that your eye level was way down there? <laughs> Probably not. Um, so this can be very, very helpful in being able to place your eye level properly. And part of that is by, you know, figuring out the angle of all of these lines that are going to go back and converge at a vanishing point. So this can be a really valuable um, exercise in that. Again, if you can uh, do this, um, you know, have your pictures printed out, or if you can do this digitally, if you've got some kind of software you, where you can draw uh, on images, it works that way. Um, but go ahead and, and do that um, before you start either um, of these perspective assignments. All right, I look forward to seeing them.